Welcome to the exhibition Faces and Places by James Goussois on exhibit in the Northland Pioneer College Talon Gallery. James Goussois, or Jim Back as he is known locally, was born with a paintbrush in hand. There was never any doubt in his mind that one way or another he would become a professional fine art painter. After obtaining a Bachelor of Fine Arts degree in painting, he yearned for more and began additional study as a private student at the Dan Weldon Lithographic Studio in Long Island, New York. Then as a painting apprentice in the art studio of the late contemporary painter Gregory Gillespie, who is exhibited in the Whitney Museum in New York City, as well as the Smithsonian Hirshhorn Museum in Washington, D.C. The French post-impressionist painter Paul Gauguin was an inspiration to Goussois. Gauguin moved to Tahiti to live and paint its people in tropical landscape. Admiring Gauguin's choice, Goussois left for the island of Jamaica to put into practice all that he had learned. Since 1986, he's had one-man exhibitions year after year in some of the finest galleries in the country, from Miami to Scottsdale to Santa Monica to San Francisco and ultimately New York City. He is often referred to as King Neon because of the hundreds of photorealistic canvases he has painted of the American roadside, mostly using the subject of vintage neon signs. In 1998, he was made an officially licensed fine artist for Harley-Davidson Chevrolet Corvette, and Mattel Toys Hot Wheels division. Besides painting the history of Memphis mural for the National Historic Landmark, the famed Peabody Hotel, he was commissioned by the city of Mesa to paint six historic murals at the Mesa Southwest Museum. After years of painting for photorealistically, most recently he's discovered a new freedom in painting, Fauvism. Fauvism was an artistic movement pioneered by a group of early 20th century modern artists whose works emphasize painterly qualities and strong color over the representational or realistic values that were uh, in fashion in the art world at the time. The Fauves, as they were called in French, roughly translates to the wild beasts. As you look at Goussois' artwork in the gallery, you can really see where wild color is being used in unusual places. Um, in particular, when you look at the skin tone, many different colors are being used together um, to composite the whole form. And you can really tell that there's a, a Fauvist um, influence there. Previously, one of James Goussois' photorealistic paintings often took him a full month to complete. The collection of 35 originals hanging here in the Talon Gallery first began in January of 2020, and many more paintings than what you see here in the Talon Gallery were produced during that time. We simply just didn't have enough room for them here.
a little more information about the artist in general. James and his wife Katie live in Pine Top. Besides painting, he loves to write and has published two full-length fiction novels along with one non-fiction book, plays the saxophone professionally, and enjoys chess. Goussois would like everyone who enjoys his art to be able to afford to buy an original painting, not just the wealthy. For the first time ever, he is offering these original paintings at a very affordable cost to everyone. He also accepts commissions. Individual prices for these artworks can be found on the Talon Gallery website. Visit www.npc.edu slash Talon Gallery for more information. We end our tour here today with a self-portrait of the artist himself, James Goussois, Jim Beck. To view more of the artist's work, visit www.kingneonfineart.com.